North Louisiana, Monroe, River Bend Barn. The smell of spring is in the air as the bitterness of winter has released its grip. Time for new life. Time for new beginnings. Time for a party. I'm a used carpet salesman from New Jersey, and I've been to parties all over this world. My idea of a perfect party consists of three ingredients. Food, music, and art. Some people call me a dreamer. I like to consider myself a promoter. My name is Stan Lubin, and it's time for a party. I was down in New Orleans on Bourbon Street, working the Berber circuit, and I found a very talented artist. And he just so happens to be a Monroe, Louisiana native. His name, Emery Nolan. Probably within the first month that I'd moved to New Orleans, and there was a really big storm. And after there was during the day, and after the storm, it was beautiful, it was still raining. And I heard this bellowing trumpet coming from outside and I looked and about five houses down all I saw was this guy's trumpet out of his front door and it was the rain was you know the rain was just kind of subsiding so the light was perfect and and I thought immediately if I could capture that I would be satisfied as an artist and I think I've been chasing that moment the approach to life is so much different down here. It's easy going, but very fast. I've always heard that New Orleans isn't big and it isn't easy. And that, that, that has a, that, that's very true. Um, it's, it's hard on a lot of people, but people take that in stride and use it for a good time. New Orleans influences my artwork in everyday terms. Um, most of my paintings around are from my front porches. I really love the interplay of nature and architecture, and they, they're, it's kind of like a battle, like man versus nature going on. It's ever-changing. It's like the streets are never the same. They kind of move with the, with, with the territory in New Orleans. It's a, it's a fun play between art that lasts forever, painting something that might be gone the next day that you wake up. Creativity was a, was a driving force. One of my earliest memories is of my mom carrying me around talking on the phone doodling. And her doodles just captivated me. And it was, you know, to this day I still doodle the exact same thing that I, I remember her doing. I think Monroe is, is a town built for an event like this. It really showcases the geography. Monroe, Monroe influences my art because I, I think that I am most connected to a painting when it's, when it's nature-based. I'm very excited to have my artwork in front of people that I grew up with, family, friends. That, that's going to be great. I don't get to do that as much as I would like. You get to feel more of a reaction, people in a, a little more relaxed environment than, than in a gallery. Springtime in Louisiana means one thing. 
crawfish. And the people of Monroe speak of a legend, a master of crawfish, Larry Cormier. I didn't open Cormier's thinking it was going to be a whole crawfish operation. I opened it up to have a place to work out to do some other things. Well, I'm from a little town called Lacassine, Louisiana. Born and raised down there until I moved up here in probably the early 80s. We opened in March of 89. My wife works here, my son works here, my oldest daughter's waiting tables, my granddaughter's busting tables, my daughter-in-law is helping people sit down. And, and it's good, we have our times, but it's been fun. It, it's fulfilling, I still enjoy what I do. Most people don't even know where these mud bugs come from, but to get the best crawfish, you gotta go down south, deep south. Hide on your trail, Larry Bieber, he's a legend of his own right, renowned for raising the best crawfish in the entire state of Louisiana. the best people I've ever dealt with in all the years I've been doing business, and they're great friends of mine. And it's not on the side of the road with a dip net, that it's actually a farming operation. And if it's done right, you get good quality crawfish out of it. Late December, 1st of January, depending on whether, they'll set the traps out in the pond. And then when it's time to uh, start catching crawfish, they'll just have these automatic boats with these big paddle wheels, and they'll catch them and dump them in the boat. Goes in a little grater, goes into the sack, and they divide them there, and then when they load them on the truck, they load them according to how they deliver. Cormier's is getting 50 sacks, so and so is getting 30 sacks, and when we get them here, we get them, we bring them in the back, we wash them, and we cook them, and we steam them, eating crawfish, drinking beer, and listening to music. Doesn't get any better than that. Crawfish like HE fish, it's probably 15 different ways people cook crawfish. And it depends whether you, you like our way compared to somebody else. But after 26 years and 3 million pounds, we do it in a way where people like it. You might not see somebody for three months. If you call them and say, look, we're having a crawfish ball, they're going to be there. Boats, water, sunshine, good times, and good people. Moon Lake Marina. A hidden gem of the Washita River, home of the River King, Joey Knights. If I've learned anything in life, it you can't have a party without people. So I'm gonna do what I do best. By cold water, won't you take me away? They clean me out of them machines right off the highway. I know he's gonna take me someday. To a place to know where water flows, blue like yesterday. I didn't buy a 1951 Idaho State Penitentiary prison to transport bus just to sit around and collect and rust somewhere. So, when a good friend of mine, BJ Bell, who's a local radio DJ, he got me a spot in the 34th Annual Black Heritage Parade. I figured this is another perfect opportunity to promote this ramble.
here love their Warhawks, and I know just the perfect place to find them. for three straight weeks. But on Saturday, April 11th, the clouds have cleared and the sun is shining. Sometimes, things just work out for the best. The love flows down, it's gonna end up killing us one day. With one million tears Every now and then, something words. comes along that calls and your I name. I was in South Mississippi, selling used carpet, and I heard the most beautiful harmonies I'd ever heard. I realized I'd found the final ingredient. I had to know who the band was. The name? Roscoe Band Band. And it's a lie that you've been given. And this time, sitting in my bedroom, taking on back. ventured all of the states pretty much in the U.S. and there's nothing like it. It's so homey and it's it's so beautiful. Well, we're from uh, Gulfport, Mississippi. Um, born and raised there. We've been a band now for uh, roughly five years. I was working as a chef at a, a local wine bar and uh, I was I was doing a an open mic night. And that's how I met Jenny. And uh, so we were like, you know what, let's just go ahead and get together on the side and, and start, you know, creating music. So I have all these songs that I've written. And from then on, it, the rest is kind of history. <laughs> like, when we're, when we're all on, we're just empty. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We're empty vessels. And this thing it. that it's, everybody is takes close, over, and we just kind of give up. And just like float on through. Hey, hey, I can come up a little bit more. Check one, two. Hey, check one, two. Like everybody has a good time being around each other, drinking, listening to good music. Music is such a, it can open so many doors for people. It can, you know, make people, ch it could change their whole life. Mm -hmm. um, so being around music all the time is such a good thing for people. It, I love it. That's why I'm a part of it. Everyone loves music and it's, people can connect to it on like every different level, you know, and food and, food and drinks is just kind of comes naturally as well as in any kind of party or getting together environment. So it's, a, it's one of those things that just kind of makes sense. Something about that summertime and crawfish is one of those things you look forward to every year, I think. You can get anybody to come to your show if you have crawfish. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Case oh, in point. That's well. Sold out. Yeah. The crowd is gathering and they're ready for a good time. They're ready for a ramble. We got Art in the barn, the band is on deck, and the crawfish is steaming. It's time to watch these flavors come together. A perfect recipe for a Louisiana Saturday night. And what better way to get an audience together than to pick them up in chauffeured buses and bring them to the party for a sunset levee ride. The ladies are looking lovely. The gentlemen are looking dapper, and the spirits are flowing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's party time. Found me a lover, I found me a friend. I can go slow with a line of bow, drink tonic and gin. I know it's gonna bite me someday. Like the wind blows and carries a soul to the end of days. Maybe it's true.
There's one last thing I gotta do. ladies and gentlemen. They've been on the West Coast two weeks ago. They've been on the North Coast, South Coast, East Coast, Ivory Coast, all the coast. This band has been everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give a North Louisiana welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Roscoe Bandana, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks a lot, y'all. Oh, yeah. That's a wrap for this ramble. And once again, a good time was had by all. You see, through food, music, and art, we can break through barriers and bring people together. 
to enjoy the one thing we all have in common. Life.